Hey, this is Dr. Fast here, and in this video I will show you two different HID ballasts I have here. Now the one on the top is an older one I picked up uh, many years ago from eBay, and this one is actually an AC ballast. Now the one at the bottom is more commonly seen on eBay now. These are the compact uh, version, or some people call these the digital ballasts. What I found out is that this smaller one is actually a DC ballast. When I use the uh, smaller digital ballast, I noticed on my 5000K bulb, the light coming out was quite blue. And I was quite surprised because I know the 5000K you know, gives out a very white light. So I did some testing, and that's when I figured out that the digital ballast I have here is actually DC output. And I was wondering if it's maybe outputting a lower voltage than what is recommended. But actually the voltage output was correct. It's just that it was DC voltage. Whereas on the bigger, uh, older style ballast, uh, it was truly AC uh, voltage coming out. Now I will show you in a sec the two tests I did on these two ballasts. So let me first show you the newer digital ballast I picked up. And again, this is very commonly found on eBay. Uh, the housing on this is actually plastic. It's very light. Very thin profile, as you can see. And here is the older style ballast. So, as you can see, it's much bigger. So, here I hooked up the AC ballast to my multimeter. As you can see, the light bulb is on and the multimeter is set to AC measurement. It's measuring about 85 volt AC. And this light you see outputting is a very, very pure white color. So right now I have the slimline DC ballast connected. As you can see on the multimeter, I'm on the DC measurement. It's measuring about 80 volt DC. And when you use this ballast, the light output at night definitely has a very blue tinge to it compared to the AC ballast. Right now I'm shining my headlight against my garage door and I'm using my DSLR in manual mode to record this. On the driver's side is the DC ballast and on the passenger side is the AC ballast. So as you can see the DC ballast on the left has a blue tint to it whereas the passenger side with the AC ballast is just white. And both of these bulbs are the 5000K color temperature. When you're looking at this right now, you might think, well, it's not that blue, but when I drive at night and the light is shining on the road, you can definitely see a very uh, strong blue tint to it. In this video clip, both bulbs are using the AC ballast. As you can see, both left and right side are the same color temperature. So as you saw in the two video clips, there's definitely a difference when you're using AC ballast and a DC ballast, even though both of them are outputting similar voltage. So the AC ballast, to me, will give you a true color output on the HID bulb, whereas for some reason being DC voltage on a digital ballast, uh, it gives a very bluish tinge color on the bulb. When I first did some research on the difference between AC ballast and DC ballast, the only thing I can find on the internet is people saying that the DC ballast will burn out a HID bulb very quickly due to the fact that DC does not cycle between positive and negative voltage, so one of the electrodes will burn out much faster. Uh, but to me, you know, that's really hard to say. Uh, I don't see a lot of people reporting that DC ballast is burning out the bulb. But my bigger concern is that the DC ballast actually puts out a wrong color temperature on the bulb. There was another uh, digital ballast I bought off eBay, which I tried out, and I ended up returning it. Uh, what happened is that with that one, 
the voltage actually was fluctuating and the light output was flickering and you can actually see that quite evidently when you're behind a vehicle the light shining on that vehicle was actually kind of pulsing now many of you watching this video will probably ask which HID system or HID kit you should buy and unfortunately that's a very difficult question to answer because on the internet there are so many of these kits that gets rebranded so it might be the same ballast but they slap on a different sticker or different packaging so it's really hard to tell you try to do your research and read people's feedback or review on it but I would most likely stay away from these small little uh, digital ballasts uh, because I think they don't last as long I think the quality is not as good uh, many of these bigger uh, older style HID ballasts I think have a better chance of uh, working for a long time and if you happen to get an AC ballast that's even better so anyways I hope you enjoy watching this video if you have any questions leave a comment below and if you like the video please subscribe thank you